cultivation of mind should be the ultimate aim of human existence. I measure the progress of a community by the degree of progress which women have achieved. I like the religion that teaches liberty, equality and fraternity. In Hinduism, conscience, reason and independent thinking have no scope for development. If I find the constitution being misused, I shall be the first to burn it. In the Hindu religion, one cannot have freedom of speech. A Hindu must surrender his freedom of speech. He must act according to the Vedas. If the Vedas do not support the actions, instructions must be sought from the Smritis, and if the Smritis fail to provide any such instructions, he must follow in the footsteps of the great men. He is not supposed to reason. Hence, so long as you are in the Hindu religion, you cannot expect to have freedom of thought. Freedom of mind is the real freedom. A person whose mind is not free though he may not be in chains, is a slave, not a free man. One whose mind is not free, though he may not be in prison, is a prisoner and not a free man. One whose mind is not free though alive, is no better than dead. Freedom of mind is the proof of one's existence. Constitutional morality is not a natural sentiment. It has to be cultivated. We must realize that our people have yet to learn it. Democracy in India is only a top dressing on an Indian soil which is essentially undemocratic. Unlike a drop of water which loses its identity when it joins the ocean, man does not lose his being in the society in which he lives. Man's life is independent. He is born not for the development of the society alone, but for the development of his self too. Lost rights are never regained by appeals to the conscience of the usurpers, but by relentless struggle. Goats are used for sacrificial offerings and not lions. Equality may be a fiction but nonetheless one must accept it as a governing principle. Thank you for watching don't forget to comment and subscribe.